going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today is an awesome day. I have been waiting for this for literally months. Like I actually don't remember when I got the dip. That's how long ago I got it. So the original plan was we were gonna take this car to... We were gonna take this thing to Stance Wars and we were gonna dip it before then. The whole thing was supposed to be done months ago. I've had these for a while, but I don't actually really remember what's inside these boxes because it's been a while. Avalanche Gray. That's the base coat. We're not doing gray again. Avalanche Gray is like the primer. Is this. This is the box of goodies. In this box, we have some sulfur yellow. That is the color the Civic is gonna be. A lot of you guys have seen this. I leaked it a bunch of times. I actually had it written on these whiteboards. Like, you guys gotta pay attention to the background of the videos. I, I, hint a lot of things, I give you guys a lot of secrets. I had Jasmine's new color is yellow written here for months. And like only a handful of you guys commented that you saw it. Maybe you saw it and you didn't comment, but only a handful of you guys commented that you saw it. The Rocket Bunny kit is actually sold with like a photo of it being yellow. That's like their, like the description photo is like a yellow Rocket Bunny. And I was like, yo, that looks good. We also have a care kit. We have paint stir sticks. We have a wash mitt. We got tape and drape. Yo, this is the best stuff ever. I absolutely love Dip Your Car for sending tape and drape with their orders because this stuff is the, it's just phenomenal. It's just the best. We got a nice chunky roll of tape. We got a little microfiber, some funnels to funnel the paint, and we got pre-wash. We also have pre-dip spray and some more paint. <laughs> Yo, I am so excited to get this done. We're actually not gonna be dipping the car at my house. Me and Brad both bought dip kits at the same time and his car took a while to get ready also, so he literally just dipped his car like two weeks ago because I got my gun with the last order, so Brad still has my gun. Brad has his whole garage of paint booth, so we're gonna go over there to dip it. But it needs a little bit of work first. I took the skirts off because the skirts I'm actually gonna be painting black. So these guys are gonna be the exact same color as the front lip and the wing, which I picked up like a semi-gloss black for because the dip, it's not like a super glossy finish. If you go ahead, you can get the, the glossy one or like the glossifier or whatever it's called. If it's not the right dip, if it's not like a metallic one or something like that, it's gonna add kind of like a texture. Whereas if you do it properly, it shouldn't have a texture. It should be just like smooth. It should be like paint which it was last time, like my gray was super, super nice. So I figure at least a semi-gloss on these guys won't make them pop significantly compared to the rest of the car, but of course when I took it off, this one had a freaking damaged spot. I guess you like couldn't really see it, but as soon as I picked it up, it just kind of crumbled right there underneath my finger, which is great. That's literally what I spent the other day doing, just fixing all of this, and of course this one broke once I took it off. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna patch this up, just probably just shove a bunch of bondo in there and make it rock hard. And hopefully we don't find any more imperfections because we're kind of out of time. Okay, cool, so these are all done with 400 grit. These are nice and like super soft. So both these are ready to paint. I'm just gonna pack it all in the car. We'll bring it all to Brad's and we'll just paint it all there. And then you can see why Brad's garage is even more ideal because he has the rafters, like they're super low and we can just like hang stuff from there. It's super easy. He already got me a beer. And it just like everything was ready here. So it makes way more sense here. And don't forget to buy a sweater when they go live. <laughs> and this is, this is not ideal, but it's supposed to rain literally all weekend. So like we can either cry about it and not dip the car for another week. Or we can just suck it up, you know? I guess on the way here, I had so many things in the trunk, like the wing and like the front splitter and all that stuff that I want to paint. That cable I put in when I made the gauges the other day pulled right out and my gauge settings all reset. It's like no big deal, but I was so confused. I gave the car power and everything was blue. It's supposed to be like all pink and then white. I was so proud of myself for making a little wire. I already pooched it. All right, first things first, we're going to do our best to wash this thing with the pre-wash. And then we're basically just gonna take it outside, wash it with this, and then try and keep it as dry as possible when we bring it back in. And then we'll just go absolutely ham with the pre-dip spray because I feel like the wash, it's not really gonna be up to par. Is this all your hose does? Yeah. Oh. That's what I'm saying. No, why no? <laughs> Is this 
a ShamWow. It's a Walmart ShamWow, yeah. Oh my god. It's good. This thing <laughs> it jams. sticks. This thing, I'm like, wow. Like, I literally cannot pull there. This thing's basically dry one around with the air compressor, and I just like blew out all these little cracks and stuff because they say to leave it for 24 hours, which we did last time, but this time we're gonna leave it a little bit less. It'll be like 12 or so. So I went around and just blew everything out to make sure it's absolutely dry. And what I wanna do also is these hardware are like nice. So I don't wanna ruin them and get them covered in like dip. So I brought all the extra ones I had. I don't know if this is gonna be enough to replace every single piece on here, but my plan was like to take the kit off and paint it separately. I don't remember if I told you guys that or not. I wanted to take everything off and just paint it all separately and then put it back together because that seems like the best way to do it but Brad said that he did that and his rear over fenders are kind of a different color than the rest of the car so yeah just like a different shade because you hit it with a different pattern and you hit it with different intensity like I don't know it does make sense that they wouldn't be exactly the same so just to keep it all one color because this car has never been all one color we're gonna do it on the car so my thought is if I just change out all these for ones that I don't care when they get dipped and then if I just leave them kind of like half in the kit will come off the car just enough that the dip should be able to go in behind it because I don't want anywhere that's super tight like these corners are so tight that they will 100% just bridge. Like the, the dip will just kind of seal itself over that. And then if I ever need to take the kit off for any reason, I won't be able to do it. Is completely taped off everything is ready to go what what the hell is this as I'm telling them I literally saw this oh that was <laughs> it's cuz it's wet do you remember oh, we talked about that we talked about that you said it was wet you didn't say I'm gonna do it dude it's wet all right the whole car is taped off it looks good I think it's ready to go and then what I did for the body kit I went around and I shoved paper towel in between here that way it won't press up against it because I'm just worried that if it's like this then the dip will kind of like seal the two together. So now that there's paper towel in behind there, it's kind of pushing it off and it should be good. Brad finished up his meth lab and he's super proud of it. He wanted me to show you guys how cracky this garage looks. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint the front lip and the wing and all that stuff now. That's, <laughs> you want some help? I just I enjoy some help. You ever do these cool cinematic shots? Like, See how I just did that? And it's gonna look super slow-mo, but yeah. it's not. Are we getting a nice coffee now? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna want a extra large iced coffee. I know you don't do that, but can we just get in an extra cup? It's kind of late. Why did we have those large? Yeah, I know, but do you have a bigger cup? <sighs> I know, but good. the problem is here is we're, we're gonna be up late. At two large iced coffees then. I felt bad about the fact that I don't have anything larger. I actually added espresso shots. Oh. Well, it's our secret. Thank, Thank, you. You, Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much. Day. All right, so we left here at like three in the morning this morning and then we came back pretty early today and we started clear coating and everything We went out to the store this morning and we bought some clear coat for everything that we were painting But I didn't show you guys all that because it kind of gets repetitive when you're just doing the same thing over and over and over again Everything got moved into the shed so it can dry nicely So we got the wing painted up We got the front lip both side skirts and then we just have a little fan blowing in the corner just to kind of keep air circulating So all that stuff is in here drying and we can just kind of lock it away for now And now we're almost ready to dip so Brad spent this morning cleaning out the dip gun because when he used it He used like uh, the purple metallic one it's just way stronger than the dip that we used last time and the dip that we're gonna use again today it, it was like super hard to clean out of the gun so he spent all morning just literally just cleaning the gun it looks nice and clean this is the dip your car kit that we got last time also after we moved everything out this morning I went around and I just kind of like really scrubbed at this to get all the overspray and everything that might have got on there off where's the dip spray at or the pre-dip spray or whatever behind here somewhere oh no <laughs> we've cut so many slits in the meth lab yeah. <laughs> because we did it and then we're like uh oh we need something that's here we need something that's here you guys will notice some primer marks on the car as well if you guys remember when I like fixed up a couple things the other day, there was a couple spots with exposed metal and I didn't really want to just dip right over that. Especially like on the back here. I didn't, I don't, I'm pretty sure dip would stick, but I just don't want it to like rust underneath the dip, which I know sounds stupid, but also very possible. It's also kind of good that we took our time doing everything this morning and last night, like painting the wing and everything. Cause now the car is dried for like at least 20 hours. Cause we washed it yesterday, kind of right when the sun was going down. So it was like 637 and now it's like two. It's not the full 24 hours I recommend, but it's pretty close. Dude, I 
love that. That's so cool. Also, reference for anybody that's kind of new to the channel, the whole car used to be this color. Because so we did the avalanche gray as the primer, and then we did shark skin gray on top, and it didn't change. No it just difference. looked exactly the same. Here, I'll hold the filter. Can you pour the I think it's doing it right now. Yeah, it is. It's dribbling all over the floor. Uh, right to about, there's good, there's good. All right, the question is, how much do I trust you to do this so that I can make sure I get some good footage? Or should I just do it and you get medium footage? Let's dip your car. It's meant for anybody to do it at home. Anybody can do it at home. Anybody can do it, but can they do it well? Yes. Which panels did you do on your car? Which one? Come show me. We're gonna take a quick look-see. Do we let Brad dip my car? Or... I'll try it. Is that not in the playbook? Do we recommend don't do it? Ooh, we actually got a break from the rain right now. You guys will be able to see this color way better. <laughs> Yo, this looks so good. It's so dope. And we have the after dip spray too, so this stuff, like, it feels so smooth. Alright, which panel did you do? This one. You did this one? All by yourself? All by myself. Not gonna lie, that actually looks alright. Hey, I got a question for you. When you dipped your car... Did you back your exhaust? <laughs> or did you forget that I part? I forgot that. <laughs> what? I did it? I did it on Look at that. Car. Purple muffler, boy. What are you doing? It's under tarp because it's got no taillights. He doesn't want it to leak. And he didn't do the first dip because as soon as they cracked it open, he didn't have a mask on. And like the second they started spraying it, Brad was just out. Like he just was like, I'm gonna die. So he left because this stuff, it's, it's strong. Like if you're not ready, if you don't have your mask on, it's gonna wipe you out. It's impossible for you guys to see, but we got it dialed in on the plastic. Mask on. Gotta get my mask on. We're ready to dip, bro. Kill it. So this is five coats of the base coat. This looks, this actually looks tight. Like I'm a huge fan of this. I think it looks good. A lot of people don't really like this and a lot of people hated my car when it was gray, but like, I kind of like, like I kind of think it looks good. I don't know, it's kind of cool. I don't think it accents the wide body enough though. I do think that you need a nice color to make that the wide body pop. Yeah. So we did five coats of this. We're not gonna use all the product that we got from Dip Your Car. We're basically putting back like almost a full can of primer. So we're gonna dump whatever's left in that thing back in here. Dip Your Car says like minimum six coats. So yeah. we did five of the base coats, so we're like, we're set. Oof. New color, hot orange. <laughs> That's not what the label says. That is not uh, even for a colorblind guy like me. That ain't some, that's not yellow. I feel like something's gotta happen here. Give it a quick mix and see what it. There. Yo, that is so bright. Brighter than I thought it was gonna be. At first, I didn't think anything was gonna happen. I know, I was I like, oh, great. we're pooch. So dope. Is it good? It looks really good, man. Now it kind of looks like the, like a green-ish. Yeah, well it's laying over top of the gray, right? Yeah, exactly, but come and cut. <laughs> Yo. I think it looks so cool. This is gonna be so good. Right now you can just tell it's super light, but. Oh yeah, like you can still see gray coming through it, but like. You don't wanna do thick coats, right? So build onto it. This is actually gonna look sick though, cause like, so the hardware will stand out because it'll be silver with the black washers. The headlights and all that stuff's clear. We're gonna have the black grill, black front lip, black arrow, black side skirts, big black wing, black wheels. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna look really cool. Hey, good job, man. Bumblebee. <laughs> I hope you guys like it. I hope you're stoked. Because I like it. The gray, I was like medium happy with. This, it's not even done and I'm like 10 out of 10 happy with this. This is good. We got it to where we think it's good, and then we're gonna do one more coat. This is literally four coats of the yellow. It's excessive, it's not, well it's not excessive, it's like right at the perfect amount, but last time when we did, I think we did seven totes total, seven, oh man, the dips getting to my brain. Seven coats total, and it came off like, literally like a vinyl wrap. So at this point, we're gonna be like on 10 coats, 
So this should come off minty whenever we decide to take it off. So then when we're done this one, we have to be kind of quick acting on it. Well, at least I was quick acting on it last time and I feel like that's exactly the way I should be again. The way this kind of seals right here is super weird. So the seam just kind of comes right up to the paint. So what we're gonna do is while it's still wet, as soon as we're done this last layer, we're literally gonna take the knife out and just kind of score along here to break that little bridge. And then we'll peel off the tape around the outside. We'll let like the windows and everything, they're fine. They can chill till tomorrow. But anything that's kind of like right up against the paint, I wanna, I wanna completely break that bridge tonight. And I wanna do it exactly when we're done the last coat, that way it's still as fresh as possible. Something about this being red or orange or whatever color that is, is so satisfying when it comes through. <laughs> Kind of tight. It hurts my nose, dude. We're gonna go around right now. We're gonna cut everything, and unfortunately for you guys, that means you guys are gonna have to wait to get a full reveal in another video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are stoked. I hope you guys don't hate me for this. But I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and stay committed. Okay. It is about 1.30, and I haven't started doing anything yet today. I just thought this was important because I know a lot of people suffer with a lot of things, and sometimes it's hard to start your day. Sometimes it's hard to do anything. Like, it's literally just not being in bed is a lot of work. And I'm someone who knows this. I'm someone that literally has do more tattooed on my hand to remind me to just work through it, just to go through it. And I think for whatever reason, I do this all the time where like today, I don't want to film. I don't feel like doing anything. Morgan was just here. We were hanging out. I had some lunch and I was like, I really don't want to film. And she's like, well, don't just take the day off. It's fine. You don't like no one's pressuring you. You don't have to do anything. But the thing is, I know tomorrow will be better. And tomorrow when I feel better, I know that I'll be super bummed out that now I'm a day behind because we had a plan on what to do for the civic and to get the civic done. And like right now, I haven't done anything yet. I haven't started. I literally just turned on my camera, but I don't know. I think it's important and I do this literally all the time where I don't feel like I want to do anything. I don't feel good. I don't feel like filming. I don't, I just, it would be easier not to do anything. That's what makes you feel so good when you do it. So when I'm editing this video tomorrow or tonight or whenever I get to that point, I'm going to be so stoked that I actually got my ass out here, filmed and got stuff done because just because you don't feel good doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means it's harder to do it. So basically what I'm trying to say is making yourself stronger and you're still getting stuff done. So hey, you might feel like it's not the best and you're not happy with it while it's happening, but just push through it. And when you look back at it tomorrow, you'll be like, damn, thank God I did that because now I don't have to do it today. It's easier not to film today. If it's easier not to do stuff today, it means it's probably the wrong way to go. Always go the way that's harder. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now I'm gonna start today's video. <laughs>